Yeah, so I'm here to, you know, to celebrate LGBT History Month. Um, LGBT, uh, Schools Out UK has been a partner of the Milk Foundation now for several years. Um, and uh, one of the things, as the founder of Schools Out will tell you, is I always ask to speak to schools. So we got to speak to a couple of the public schools. Um, oh my God. Do, public yeah, schools, do you use that phrase? Okay, so, um, and what was really amazing is that, you know, is the, is the questions that we got and the um, affinity that people had towards human rights. Um, and in particular, it was funny because uh, some of your local organizers, I, they were said, well, you know, we're gonna be speaking to the little ones now and they won't ask as many questions and they'll be shyer. And I said, no, around the world, it's the complete opposite. They will be the ones who will be asking much more questions and that you'll be surprised at their questions and you'll be surprised at their astonishment that we still have this struggle. And that was absolutely true here, which I think is a testament to the next generation that's coming up. Um, we've got to nourish that and we've got to do work and I think that's part of the role of this festival. I can see this really growing um, and, uh, and in some ways this is the food that keeps the inclusion spirit moving forward. Well, you know, first of all, um, the closing message, which was that we all have our story and we all play a critical role. There's, you know, the, the so I, I think to me, personally and professionally, the most important message that people can have is that they play a significant role in the social change movement of our time. Um, even if it's just simply being out in their own sphere or supporting people who are out. Um, and, uh, and that there's nothing small about that. There's nothing insignificant about that. That is what has changed. Um, uh, in particular, for instance, marriage equality. If you ask our Supreme Court justices in the United States, which they were asked, why did they vote in favor of marriage equality? Uh, Justice uh, Ginsburg, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg said, it's because we know LGBT people. If you had asked us 10 years ago, we would, have, we would have not seen this as an issue because we didn't know them, they weren't visible. So the visibility piece is so important. You can affect a whole continent Think about that. And it was the individual actions of, of, of folks simply telling people in their life who they were, taking off their masks. Yeah, I mean, uh, th this is absolutely um, uh, such a uh, wonderful community. Um, people really feel part of the community. I think there's a lot of pride here. Um, I, I do think there's work always that needs to be done to broaden inclusion. Um, and visibility. Um, and I would love to see the bridge because you have a lot of really interesting elders of the community that come from actually other places that have moved here and I think that they have a lot of wisdom to share and I would love to see some type of program linking the two. Linking youth who are seen starving for some of these stories and starving for this connection with some of the nourishment that our elder community can give them. Well, first of all, you know, you're going to have some people who will say, who will say oh, we're having an LGBT festival. Oh, wonderful. Um, you know, in a, in a sarcastic way. And, you know, would have expected, you know, feather boas being thrown down the street or all kinds of things. I wouldn't mind if that happened, but it didn't. Um, or the river overflowing because the festival is here. Those, that's not going to happen either. Um, and I think the other important thing is that you had three mayors here who I think were really moved by what they heard. Um, and, um, you know, clearly they um, wanted to be here for whatever reason. Maybe it was political, maybe it was in their heart, but I think that they have a lot more motivation now to support um, inclusion in LGBT um, uh, people and this festival.